Hello everybody, welcome back to Gerson's Garage. Well, it's a scar pass. Well, it's been a while since I made a video and I wanted to show you what I bought recently. I bought this a couple weeks ago. This is a car I've wanted since I was a kid. My dad owned one of these back in 1972-73 in this color. It's a 1968 Triumph GT6 Mark I. Like I said, I've wanted this car since I was a kid. Mrs. Gruesome, this came up for sale. Mrs. Gruesome said, you wanted it since you were a kid? Go out and buy it. So, this is the first time I bought a car, other than my Roadrunner back in the 1980s, that I could actually drive right off the bat. Usually they're project cars. A lot of times I come home not running. My motorcycle I restored wasn't running. So, this is something that's going to be kind of a driving project. I can drive it, enjoy it, do what it needs to be done to it. I've already done some work on the uh, charging system. Uh, I needed a generator and voltage regulator. It wasn't charging. I got that sorted out. Took it for a nice long drive today. Still need some odds and ends. Um, we'll do some videos on it. Uh, I want to go through the front suspension, the rear suspension. I want to put what they call a, a camper compensator on it. These have an independent rear suspension and it's a swing axle. So in cornering, like the early Corvairs, they're very prone to positive camber if you get nervous and let off the throttle in a tight corner. And if anybody knows what positive camber is, I'll quickly explain it. Your rear wheels basically do this. It's a suspension on loads. Uh, the early Porsches were noted for it. And what happens is you will lose control of the car. It will go into a it will spin out. So, but that's only if you're really going into a corner hard. So, give you a little bit of an overview of the car here. Like I said, 1968 Triumph GT6 Mark I. These are built by the Standard Triumph Corporation. Basically what they did was they took their Spitfire and they added a hard top. And the original four cylinder just wasn't up to the task of propelling the heavier bodied car. So Triumph took an inline six out of one of their sedans and combined it with the um, this car and became the GT6. Like I said, the Mark II came out in 69 they used a little bit independent, uh, better independent suspension with double wishbone to get rid of the issue I was just talking about. So this car was made from 66 to 68. And like I said, in typical British fashion, it went by series, Mark I, Mark II, Mark III. I'll show you the engine. This is one thing I always liked about these cars. Here's the engine, inline six, it's two liter. It's not a very big six, but in this light car, it propels it along pretty good, let me tell you. Good low, good low end and mid range torque on it. I mean, I've drove a Spitfire and this moves away from a stoplight pretty quickly. Um, it is geared a bit low, it could use an overdrive, but uh, my intention is not to drive this down the interstate at 80 miles an hour. This is a car for me and my wife to go cruise in, go to get ice cream or stuff like that. Um, i got to do some degreasing in the engine. I want to clean up the frame here and the uh, suspension arms, the sp replace the shocks, bushings, things like that. Um, probably going to repaint the car eventually. Right now, I just want to drive, drive it, enjoy it, fix it as I go. Like I said, we'll... Um, Keep you updated. While you're at it, please hit the like and subscribe button. It certainly will help grow my channel. It also encourages me to <laughs> do more videos. So that's my GT6 in a nutshell. I will make a video of me driving it here shortly down the road, get a bird's eye view. 
Have a great day and God bless.